hi everybody and thanks for clicking on this video today is payday it is our favorite day of every other week <laughs> i did go to the bank i was able to get the money that i need for my cash wallet um things that i will need throughout the week and i also got the money that i will need for my binders for my savings so i'm going to go ahead and do a cash stuffing today i'm only going to cash stuff my wallet this is more money than i have ever gotten in one paycheck ever before so and i actually think it's the first time i've used hundreds <laughs> so um I'm going to do that cash stuffing today of just my wallet and then I'll come back another day and do my sinking funds and my savings challenges just because I got to get ready for Thanksgiving. So let's do that today. I'm going to go ahead actually first and I think the best thing for me to do will be to split up my wallet funds from my sinking funds just so that I don't get the denominations mixed up. To do that, I'm going to pull out the sheet that I use for my bank withdrawal form. I'm just going to put this to the side so that I know which denominations I need for my cash wallets and which I need for my sinking funds since they're separated here already. All right, so let's first make sure we have enough here. We should have a total of 16.35. I am so excited about this money. It might not be a lot to some people, but it's it's huge for me so very thankful if i haven't said so enough um that this came up you know right at the appropriate time um it is still money that i earned <laughs> i earned this from work so it's just money that they should have given us a long time ago and they ended up putting it in this one paycheck so either way still happy about it all right so let's make sure that we have 1635 and you know you already know i need my trusty dusty calculator I don't know why I didn't just have this standing, you know, sitting right here for me because I know I need it. All right, so let's get counting all of it all together. Okay, we have 16.35. All right, so let's split these bad boys up and we'll put the other ones away. So for our variable funds, we need 15 ones. I'll put the rest for sinking funds and we need two fives rest those two sinking funds we need how many tens four one two three four rest goes into sinking funds why did i put the fives way back there we need one two three four five Six, seven, eight, twenties. I think that's right. Two, four, six, seven, eight. Yep. And the rest goes into sinking funds. We need how many fifties? Just one. And the one hundreds all go to sinking funds. All right. So actually, I want to try. I'm gonna put these off to the side so we can do those at another time. And we're gonna go ahead and stuff our wallet really quickly. So miscellaneous is getting, it's the first one. Miscellaneous is getting 10 ones and a 20. I think I made these a little, simple this time around so it has a th total of $30 for miscellaneous how is your Wednesday going you guys oh look it's time for a whole new tracker look at that for this pay period Okay, so miscellaneous is starting today on the 22nd. 
with the payday and we're adding $30. So this is how you use the expense trackers. So if I spend anything between now and the next payday, I will write it down here. So I'll put down the date, the expense, whatever it was that I bought. And then I subtract how much I spent here. And the balance goes here. So let's say, I can erase these now so I can show you. So let's say today I spent money at the Dollar Tree and I bought some, I don't know, a pen. So I spent $2 and then my balance is going to be $28. This is how you use the expense trackers. Someone asked me that. I, I didn't just show you that for no reason. <laughs> Someone asked me that. So I always try to answer questions when I can, where I can. Oh, also, I didn't even mention or I forgot to mention. This did not erase good on the trackers. I, ew, that's nasty. Let me... I don't like how that erases on here. Maybe because the surface is in flat. Yeah, that didn't erase well on the tracker. I don't know what that's about. Maybe it's the material. I don't know, but it's fine. Um, today I uploaded, I started the Etsy shop for the Seriously Saving channel. So you guys were asking about my um sheets when i was gonna be able to upload those so that you guys can start using them so i did that today gas is just getting a 50 dollar bill i did that today so you guys can go and take a look i do have the link um i posted a I made a post about it earlier today and already got a purchase. So thank you so much to Gina. I think she was my first customer. So I really appreciate that. Um, but go ahead and take a look. You guys have been talking about wanting the, um, the savings tracker for a while, the sinking funds and savings tracker. So I did go ahead and post that up there. It's the only item there. So... And I just do that line to separate the pay periods. I go back and forth with these wallets, which I need to stop doing because I'm clearly confusing myself. But I know that I had absolutely no rollover from this pay period. So that's okay. All right, guess. And then date night is entertainment. Entertainment is getting $40, which is just $220. Like I said, this time I kept it pretty simple. I didn't mix up the denominations too much. I don't expect to spend a lot of money this pay period except for on things that I need to get for Christmas. Um, or, you know, if there's any pop-up groceries that happen. So, but I was talking to my daughter just now and I was saying uh, we're spending more on groceries, but we're spending less on dining. So, I'm not mad about that at all. If we got to get it from somewhere, I'd rather it be the grocery store than eating out. Okay, dine out while we're on it. Needs $60, two 20s and two 10s. So that's more than dining out usually gets, but that's because um, we got paid a little more than we usually get. I think it's the surface, because the surface is not completely flat. I think that's why my uh, pen is acting weird on this surface. But dining out is done. Home is going to get $20 only. So I had to fix that. For some reason, I didn't calculate it right. So it's only going to get a $20 bill. I do just told me that Dollar General has some kind of special that I missed out on. You know what? Last year, I did it. Look at Dollar General's right there. What is happening? Everything's like in sync for me right now. Um, they had it last year or the year before, and I missed it last year. But the year before, I was couponing. Oh, my God. I got so much stuff for cheap. Like, the clearance was on clearance. So, like, things were like a dollar, and then I had coupons, too. So, at that time, I had, like, laundry detergent and stuff that lasted me for a whole year. Like, I'm not even kidding. It lasted for a whole year. 
So next year, I have to figure out when exactly that sale happens. If you guys know what I'm talking about, let me know. Okay, personal is getting the rest, $75. Let's make sure. One, two, three, four, five, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 50, 55, 60. That's not $75. Let's try that again. 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75. Oh my God, I suck at math. I do. And to think I wanted to be an accountant. <laughs> Glad I didn't pursue that dream. <laughs> All right, $75. Yay, so that will be good. I'm hoping to have some of these left over as rollover. I mean, that's the goal, but if they get spent, they get spent. It's okay. That's what they're there for. Rollover is just an extra bonus kind of thing. All right, so the wallet envelopes are stuffed and they are ready to go. They go right into my little wallet here. If you're new here, these are the cash envelopes I got from Amazon from the Soul Mama collection. I literally have these in all of my binders in different designs. Um, but what I did was I cut off the binder portion here so that it can fit into my wallet because I was looking at the cash envelope wallets and I didn't like them. They just, just... They were just they were just too big so that's why i didn't want to purchase a cash wallet but i think i found an alternative that i kind of liked on there so i might be purchasing one i do have some things in my amazon cart that i want to get um so i'll have to do that sooner than later because i because the best thing to do would be to do it on Black Friday. So are you guys shopping for Black Friday? Um, do you have anything budgeted? I have the things in my cart because if anything goes on sale on Black Friday, I might want to purchase it. But otherwise, um, anything that I get will probably just be for... Oops, I forgot this. Probably just be for my YouTube supplies, you know. Which would include my budgeting supplies, I guess. Oh, I did not forget it. I'm done with this. Okay probably keep that for my records or something but that is it for me today make sure you go ahead and check out the etsy shop the sinking funds tracker i put on there it is three three dollars and fifty cents but keep in mind you can print this out as many times as you want to um so this is to track any savings or sinking funds that you have so i have all my categories on here and i actually had to make my own version smaller because um i have too many <laughs> Because they have more, so um, I had to add some more slots. So you'll see that for December. I'm not going to mess it up for this month. So for November, when I do my cash stuffing tomorrow or you know later this week when I cash my envelopes there, I'll update this and you'll see how it works. I'll do a video on how to fill out each of the columns in case you have questions on that as well. All right. Th Thanks so much if you enjoyed the video or if you learned something or would like to keep watching the videos that I have. I am a low-income single parent. What I do on the channel is experiment with different budgeting styles, savings goals, and I share the strategies I learn as I go. So if that sounds interesting, go ahead and click a like and subscribe to continue following my journey. Otherwise, thank you so much. Happy Thanksgiving. Have a good holiday and happy saving. Bye.